will not cease in your family in Jesus name the shout of rejoicing will not cease in your life in Jesus name the shout of jubilation will not cease in your camp in Jesus name the topic we are considering today is celebrating your possession to enter into pleasantness celebrating your possession to enter into pleasantness celebrating your possession to enter into pleasantness we shall be taking our scripture reading from the book of Acts chapter 27 Acts chapter 27 from verse 21 but after long abstinence from food then Paul stood in the midst of them and said, Men, you should have listened to me and not have sailed from Crete and incurred this disaster and loss. And now I urge you to take heart. I urge you to take heart. For there will be no loss of life among you, but only of the sheep. For there stood by me this night, there stood by me this night, an angel of the Lord, to whom I belong, and whom I serve, saying, do not be afraid Paul you must be brought before Caesar and indeed God has granted you all those who sailed with him therefore take heart men for I believe God that it shall be just as it was told me Therefore, take heart, men, for I believe God that it will be just as it was told me. First Samuel chapter 17. I read from verse 31. First Samuel chapter 17 from New King James Version. Now when the words which David spoke were heard, they reported them to Saul and he sent for him. They reported them to Saul and the king sent for him. Then David said to Saul, let no man's heart fail him because of the giants. Your servant will go and fight with this Philistine. Your servant will go 
and fight with this Philistine. And Saul said to David, You are not able to go against the Philistine to fight with him. For you are a youth. And he is a man of war from his youth. He is a man of war from his youth. But David said to Saul, Your servant used to keep his father's sheep. When a lion or a bear came and took a lamb out of the flock, I went out after it, struck it, and delivered the lamb from its mouth. And when it arose against me, I caught it by its beard and struck it and killed it. Your servant has killed both the lion and the bear. And this uncircumcised Philistine will be like one of them. See, he has defied the army of the living God. See, he has defied the army of the living God. Moreover, David said, The Lord who delivered me from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear, he will deliver me from the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said to David, Go, and the Lord be with you. So Saul clothed David with his armor. And he put a bronze helmet on his head. He also clothed him with a coat of mail. David fastened his sword to his armor and tried to walk, for he had not tested them. David said to Saul, I cannot walk with this, for I have not tested them. So David took them off. Then he took his staff in his hand. And he chose for himself five smooth stones from the brook and put them in a shepherd's bag, in a pouch which he had. And his sling was in his hand, and he drew near to the Philistines. So the Philistines came and began drawing near to David. And the man who bore the shield went before him. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him. For he was only a youth, ruddy and good looking. So the Philistine said to David, Am I a dog that you come to me with sticks? And the Philistines cursed David by his gods. And the Philistine said to David, Come to me. And I will give your flesh to the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. And David said to the Philistine, You come to me with a sword, with a spear, and with a javelin. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the army of Israel, whom you have defied this day. The Lord will deliver you into my hand. And I will strike you and take your head from you. And this day I will give the carcasses of the camp of the Philistines to the birds of the air, to the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. Then all this assembly shall know that the Lord does not serve with sword and with spear, for the battle is the Lord. And he will give you into our hands. So it was when the Philistines arose and came and drew near to meet David. David hurried. David hurried. David hurried. Allah. Towards the army to meet the Philistine. Then David put his hand in his bag. And took out a stone. Not five. A stone. And he slung it and struck the Philistines in his forehead so that the stone sank into the forehead 
and he fell on his face to the earth so david prevailed over the philistine with a sling and with a stone and struck the philistines and killed him but there was no sword in the hand of david therefore david ran and stood over the philistine david ran and stood over the philistine took his sword drew it out of its feet and killed him and cut off his head with it and when the philistines saw that their champions were dead they fled now the men of israel and judah arose and shouted and pursued the philistines as far as the entrance of the valley and to the gates of ekron and the wounded of the philistines fell along the road of sharai even as far as god and ekron then the children of israel returned from chasing the philistines and they plundered their tents and david took the head of the philistines and brought it to jerusalem and he put the armor in his tent praise the lord celebrating your possession to enter into pleasantness i want to look at some of the potential some of the possessions of david in this passage that made him to enter in, into pleasantness and made him to carry his nation into pleasantness the first thing that i notice he celebrated his god god was his possession everything in our life must start with god and end with god why he is the one that has no beginning and has no end He began before beginning began. He existed before existence came into being. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He has seen the beginning before beginning began. And then he created beginning. What a mysterious God. Tell somebody by your side. The God I'm serving is a mysterious God. He did not only have God. He celebrated that God. I normally ask people. To what extent do you celebrate the God you believe in? There are many people who keep their God to themselves. Who keep their faith to themselves. They don't broadcast it. And yet they want other people to come to their God, to come to their faith. It doesn't work like that. You've got to do the work of the media. You've got to broadcast the God that you serve. So when the king was indirectly discouraging him from going to battle with the Philistine by celebrating the opposition, he said, you are not able to go and meet this giant he has been a warrior he has been a soldier from his youth he was celebrating the opposition when you celebrate the opposition there is the tendency that you wear out the faith that you have but there are certain people who will guard their faith jealously 
no matter how the opposition is being celebrated that is when they will fire up their own faith I refuse to allow my faith to be pressed down when a medical doctor says ah ah why has it taken you too long a time before you come to the hospital from the diagnosis you have less than six months to live how do you feel that's an indirect way of celebrating the opposition the opposition is what sickness that's the time when you need to fire up your faith I shall not die but I shall live to declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living what did he do what was his response to the king your servant was taking care of the flock of his father and a lion and a beard came a lion and a beard came the lion the beard by its beard I struck it and I killed it your servant who have killed the lion who have killed the bear will slay this uncircumcised Philistine what was he relying on number one God number two what experience so the first possession he had was god the second thing that he celebrated that was his possession was experience what experience have you gathered you are going before a panel of interviewers for Christ's sake, don't keep quiet. Let it not only be contained in your CV, please share your personal experience. Share it. By the grace of God, I have done this, I have done that, I have done this. You mean, oh, yes, I have. By the grace of God. Say, so you are the material we are looking for. Celebrate your experience to enter into your pleasantness why did he have to do it the word of the king is authority the king could as well said well i understand however please step aside ahimus was a bearer of the news about the death of Absalom but when the watchman from the watchtower saw him he was running as a matter of fact he ran so well that he got to the king on time and he said I know Ahimas. He was the one that brought the information to me. When I was in a hideout and Absalom wanted to kill me, he was the one that took the information from Ushai. And as he was going with Jonathan, a particular delegate of the king who was an informant saw him and ran after him. But he entered into the house of a woman. And the woman said, what is the problem? He said, I'm being chased. I'm being chased. I am a bearer of the king's news. I'm being chased. Please secure me. The woman said, don't worry. The woman had a dry well. Say, enter into that dry well. He entered into the dry well.
The woman went there, removed the man out from the well and told Ahimas, come out. Ahimas came out on heart and went to deliver the information unto the king. Do not stay here. If you stay here, do not be located. You are like that. Yeah. So, when the watchman saw him coming, the watchman said, Who is that? He said, He said, I know. He's very good. Yes. Why? Because of his previous experience. He's very good news. But because he was not supposed to be at the Good news as of that time was not fully ready. What happened? He asked him the question, is all well? He said, yes, all is well. Can you give me the description of what really happened? Instead of talking about Absalom, your enemy is dead. He said, I saw a tumult. You saw a tumult? I saw a tumult. You can't give this description of what happened. But saying you saw it too, he says, step aside. Step aside. King Saul could have told David, you are not fit. Stay aside. Not to allow himself to be disqualified. He needed to share this experience. Your Majesty, don't look at my statue. That was what he was saying. Don't judge me by my stature. Judge me by my experience. Judge me by my experience. These are the past experiences I've had. The lion is the king of the jungle. He is the king of the jungle not because he's the strongest. He is the king of the jungle because it is the boldest. Courageous, bold, and is ready to undertake risk. Jump at any animal that he did it. If you talk in terms of strength, who finally be dealing with lion ten times? Who finally be dealing with it? Elephants, just move him. What do you talk about that noise? The drum, the drum. And use the drum to hold it on the center of it and land it on the floor. But we all face the drum to do it over. Thank you. Celebrate your experiences. Don't be quiet. But when you are celebrating, please don't overpromise and underdeliver. Hello? Ah. Yes. That is the ongoing of a lot of enemies. Say it the way it is. Don't overmagnify. Because the way you say it will determine the expectation that will be created in the minds of people. That is the one thing that a lot of people get married when they are making proposal. They will not say themselves. Oh dear, if only you can just take my proposal, accept it. I will make sure you don't touch your money when we get married. I will make sure you don't touch your money. I will take care of you. Any little pay you want to buy, I will buy it. All your money will be yours. And all my money will be ours. And then you get married. And the company you are working for then size. And you don't have any money at hand. The expectation in the heart of that woman is still everything you have is yours. Everything I have is ours. Then trouble begins. 
don't over promise and under deliver blow your trumpet but don't over blow it if you don't blow your trumpet no man will blow it for you only few men will blow it for you but blow your but don't over blow it when you overheat the volume of a drum what happened to that volume eh? it goes to swollen eh? it goes swollen if you get swollen it is still good but when you get busted <laughs> celebrate your what your experience there's something that is very important that many people are not doing is your potential celebrate your potential celebrate it how do you celebrate your potential by giving your potential fit give it fit give it what give it fit how do you give something fit take action many people have big dreams many people have big vision many have it as blueprints upon their paper but no action when you don't take action your dream is in the realm of wishful thinking take action the bible says he looked at what he had what are the things that he had he had five smooth stones he had a sling they were belittled they appear to be insignificant they were things celebrated among the teenagers not among the adults when we want to kill birds in those days we get sling a catapult and we also get smooth stone stones and we begin to fire it two things we used to target then birds and fruits when our hand does not reach a fruit and we want to block it we get catapult pua, pua. this is apple pua, pua. some of them will come down because of the force he got it he utilized it but before he utilized it he was adequately equipped by the king the king got the helmet put it upon his head got breastplate put it around his chest and all the necessary gadgets but as he was moving it became too heavy for him because he had not tested them what you have not tested put it aside find a time when you can test them and get used to them for Christ's sake if they say there is car driving competition it's not on that day that you should not begin to talk about okay let me use this car that car get yourself familiar with what you are familiar with and use those things what you are familiar with don't look down on it celebrate it and don't allow what is generally acceptable to the society don't allow it to belittle you merely seeing the gadgets I 
being the champion is enough for somebody to say I have lost this battle what you see physically don't allow it to affect your faith let your faith be rooted in God and be rooted in your own personal experiences but give your potential fit the Bible says in hurriedly in hurriedly run in the direction of the champion that's giving fit to your potential I can do this I can do that thank God for your capability thank God for your capacity but give it what to give it a fit take action take action I love that lady she's elegant she's beautiful she is wonderful and the Lord is ministering to me in that direction for Christ's sake after God has ministered to you take action don't go with a friend to make proposal as a young lady I love you we have come to propose to you we have come to propose to you the lady will ask you and say which one among you all that's lack of courage go alone the person can go with you and then use style to disengage but do the speaking by yourself don't allow the man or another person do the speaking for you do the speaking by yourself that is giving feet to your what to your what to your potential David did that he celebrated his God he celebrated his potentials he celebrated his skills and he also celebrated his experience celebrate your experience let people know what you are after he did that what happened he took action he got to him and release just one stone not all the five one of the things we need to understand it is not how far but how well it is not how many times you do a thing that counts but the one that is engraced it is not how much of the words you speak that counts there are a lot of people they will speak unto somebody who is possessed you fall spirit come out come out come out come out come out come out they can speak come out for one thousand times and another person can cast out the demon with the word it's not how many times or how much of the grace of God that was upon it when he released it there was skill in demonstration but what happened was beyond skill there was the effect of grace that was directing that stone directing it directing it directing it directing it because where it hit was a very small portion a small portion that the helmet did not cover if you are going to decide it will just hit the helmet and come down but that small crack grace directed that stone to it and it entered into his core bah! and the giant fell i don't know the giant that is in your life that is hindering you from entering into the realm of pleasantness grace will work on all your possessions to humiliate those giants that you may enter into your realm of pleasantness in jesus name that amen is too weak i said grace 
we rest upon your experience we rest upon your skill we rest upon your potential we rest upon your the seeds that you have given to your potential which is action and bring down the enemy on your path to progress and you will enter into the realm of pleasantness in Jesus name listen what you need to succeed you don't have it all what I need to succeed I don't have it all but I have some of them to deal with Goliath he didn't have it all he had what people did not celebrate he celebrated it he made him to fall but there was no sword in his hand where was that sword to cut off the head of the Goliath where was it where was it it was with Goliath some of the things you need for your progress are with your position but start from where you are amen somebody amen. when a person have it all then he does not need God anymore God wants us to depend on himself start with what you have then you can make an addition to what you have that is not in your hand always have it at the back of your mind I don't have it all what I have will take me far but may not take me to my destination what will take me to my destination may need an addition from the opposition camp that's why don't completely reject the opposition there are some things in the camp of the opposition that will skyrocket you to where you are eventually going which is your place of destination i don't want to have anything to do with egypt egypt was the place where the children of israel we are being buffeted they were being tormented the taskmaster they showed them what life is all about i don't want to do anything with egypt But when King Herod was angry because the three wise men did not bring feedback to him, they went through another direction. Where did the angel of the Lord told Joseph to take the baby Jesus? Huh? Say it now. Say it loud. Say it loud. No, I don't want to do anything. The same Egypt that hurt them is the place where God directed that baby Jesus should be taken temporarily. Don't hate the camp of your enemy completely. They follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. And so when he got there, he took his sword. Some people will take the sword and begin to dangle it in the air. What purpose is it for dangling in the air? That is just showmanship. Do the job. Did he do the job or not? Huh? What did he do? He cut off the tail of Goliath. Eh? What did he cut? Cut off his head. And he didn't just cut off the head and leave the head there he carried it where did he take the head to huh talk now huh i'm not hearing you well let's look at it from the scriptures where he carried it to Verse 51. Therefore David ran and stood over the Jig Philistines, took his sword, and drew it out of the sheath and killed it and cut off his head with it. And when the Philistines saw that their champions was dead, they fled. 
Now the men of Israel and Judah arose and shouted and pursued the Philistines as far as the entrance of the valley and to the gates of Ekron. And the wounded of the Philistines fell along the road. Then the children of Israel returned from chasing the Philistines and they plundered their tents. And David took the head of the Philistine and brought it to Jerusalem. But he put his armor in his tents. Two things he took. One, his head. Took his armor. One, his head. Two, the head was taken to Jerusalem. The armor was taken to his tents. Why didn't he take the two to Jerusalem? Why didn't he take the two to his tent? There are questions to be asked. Some things ought to be kept in the archive to help to inspire some other people that are coming behind. But there are some things in the camp of the enemy that will be useful for you. For you he took the armor to his own tent not the head the head is of no usefulness to him it is meant to be an inspiration for people who don't know the stories but the armor is still useful even though he has not tried it he will begin to try it and 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 try it until he gets used to it in your plans, in your programs, and your programmings, don't only think of yourself, think of others. There are other destinies that are tied to your destinies. There was silence when the champion was bragging. No one could raise his shoulder. But David showed up to raise his shoulder. No matter how silence is in Nigeria, there is somebody here who will raise up his shoulder. Oh my God. You didn't hear me well. No matter the hopelessness in Nigeria and in Africa, there is somebody here whose voice will be heard because of his attachment to the living God that he serves. There is somebody who will have the heart of a lion who will be ready to contend for the faith of the church and who will be able to humiliate the opposition that is the camp of the enemy. The darkness will continually be chased by the light that is in the camp that is in the kingdom of God in Jesus name. But it is you who will shine the light. The light will not shine itself because you are the light of what oh? you are the light of what oh? say you are the light of the world go forth and shine the light celebrating your possession in order to enter into the realm of pleasantness so I want to play with us from today henceforth. Please celebrate the God you have. Please celebrate your potentials by giving it feet. Please celebrate your experiences before men so that men can give you chance. Men can open their doors for you to demonstrate what you have within yourself. Say it. Share it. Don't share it just to elevate yourself. Share it so that you can open doors. There are people who don't need to share anything. Their parents just using their names will open doors for you. If you don't have names that can open doors, use your own name. And part of your name that is going to open doors for you is your experience. Share your experience. What have you accomplished? What have you achieved? 
talk about it and the glory of the latter house will surpass the former when you celebrate the former the latter will come into manifestation rise up upon your feet Today is the birthday of mommy. So it's a double celebration. Listen. About this time last year. When you see mommy in this auditorium. Most of the time she sits down. To stand up for five minutes was hurting, was painful, with excruciating pain. While taking her out of the, this country for treatment abroad, I had to begin to push. She was on a wheelchair. To walk was difficult. To talk was difficult. But she had something. Alongside with others. She had God. She celebrated her God. Every time you see her singing. She make efforts to sing. To that God she believed in. She believed in her husband 100%. One shall chase 1,000, two shall chase what? She believed in great intercessors. She had intercessors among her siblings, her senior sisters who are ministers of the gospel those that they are married unto she believed in them and prayers we are going on within the country prayers we are going on out of, outside of the country there was a corporate anointing at work in her life today you see her holding microphone but you did not know what she has passed through why am i saying this i don't know what you are going through now you will have a positive story to share oh my god i said you will have a positive story to declare a story that will inspire other people's faith look at her elegant beautiful the most beautiful woman in the world you can see her if you have not yet married don't look at her Aha. only married men should look at her Elegant, beautiful, captivating, magnetizing, tantalizing. But we can use all those words because she is alive. Because he lives, you shall live also. I said, because he lives, you shall live also. I said, because he lives, you shall live also. I will call on Daddy Ferrami, the teacher of teachers, teacher emeritus, to come and pray for five minutes just to round up this prayer then I will be back please come over can we give the Lord a round of applause praise the Lord we are here testifying today and we are witnesses to this we have had the testimony how many 
places people has pray for people like that and another things happen that is why we are rejoicing we call on God different places not only that God had God answered and this is a testimony I'm the most joyful person today because I'm a witness and prophecies has come upon our life today that whatsoever you are passing through you will live to tell the good story part of it just believe it it's just like that it's just like that just believe it so we are rejoicing and god knows that we are rejoicing we are very happy and he will still make us to be happier because he lives because he lives we can face tomorrow because Christ lives all fear is gone because we know Life is one because he lived. Covenant keeping God. Ancient of this, the I am that I am. Our Father in heaven. The Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and on the earth is named. Our Redeemer our sustainer our provider the one that fight battles for us more than conqueror ever dependable reliable god of heavens we thank you today because of those glorious things that you have done we thank you king of glory for your word that we have had this morning it is the truth and you know we shall hear the truth we shall know the truth and that truth shall set us free father thank you in the name of jesus for bringing us into the word of your son jesus christ to you be all the glory and honor in the name of jesus it is a word of peace and kindness in every aspect of life a word of wholesomeness a word that is full of all things that is good a word of joy everlasting joy a word of abundance of life we give you all the glory and honor in the name of jesus christ we join our faith together this morning celebrating your goodness and honor and mercy towards us most especially towards your daughter to you be all the glory and honor in the name of jesus christ thank you for restoration of health thank you for healing thank you for deliverances where our hand could not reach you went there you make you conquer you came back and give us banner of victory to you be all the glory and honor in the name of jesus Heavenly Father, what can we give unto you than to give thanks? We will never be tired of giving thanks because you are never tired of doing us good. Oh, blessed be thy name forever in the name of Jesus. We celebrate with your daughter, we celebrate with the family, and we say to you be all the glory and honor in the name of Jesus. You have done it and you have done it well. And whatsoever the Lord do it, it shall be forever. Nobody can do it, nobody can deduce from it. And therefore we declare and decree this morning in the mighty name, the name of Jesus that is above every other name. That that which you have done is done forever. Affliction shall never rise the second time. In the name of Jesus, blessed be thy name forever. Thank you, Father. For Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Offering time.
praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is a celebration service. Praise the Lord. You are happy in the house. Praise the Lord. Amen. Like the bishop said, is a celebration service and is another celebration celebrating the faithfulness of God in the life of our mommy bishop. So I want you to rejoice this morning and we are coming with the heart of gratitude as we give the Lord beautiful offering. Amen. Shall we listen to the announcements? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. It's celebration Sunday. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great. Faithfulness. Lamentation chapter 3 verse 22 to 23. Brethren, we have every reason to celebrate and praise the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords for the victories we see and the pleasantness we enjoy. For the breakthroughs and successes in the making, we celebrate as we behold them with the eyes of faith. Kindly listen to the following announcement from the Living Word Assembly Information Desk. Our regular home fellowship meetings will hold this evening at 6 p.m. Please let us endeavor to join one of the house centers near us today. You can meet with our own fellowship coordinator, Pastor Samis Dixon, for more information. Our midweek services are as follows. On Tuesday, our prayer team will be interceding at the throne of mercy. You are welcome to join us online at 6 p.m. on the Family WhatsApp platform as we pray the effectual fervent prayers which makes enormous power available. On Thursday, the World Through Power Encounter will hold at 6 p.m. Please join us online at the Family WhatsApp platform and you will be richly blessed as you do so. Our choir meeting.